Hey guys, Shivel here, and welcome to The Crooked Man. Now, The Crooked Man is an RPG game, and uh, that's all I know, really. Um, I've seen my buddy Wolf play at one point a long time ago when he used to upload videos, but now he's dead, so... He's not, by the way. No, I'm in, like, his channel. He's a dead channel. Anyway. This game contains sudden surprises and harsh images. The weak of heart and those poor with horror should not play. The author takes no responsibility for any trouble that arises from playing this game. Alright, well, can't be that bad. Jesus. There was a crooked man, and he walked a crooked mile. He found a crooked sixpence upon a crooked stile. He bought a crooked cat, which caught a crooked mouse. And they lived all together in a crooked little house. That was sweet. That was really kind. I like that. Whoa, finally! Things are tidy in here. That should be that. Is there anything else we can do to help with David? Nah, I'm fine. Sorry for making you guys help me move. And thanks for showing me the place, Paul. I'll have to pay you back sometime. Oh, nice. Three of us could all go out drinking. Bad idea. I look forward to it already. Sorry, is that a girl? I look forward to it already! Well... We better get going! Got it. Be careful, you two. Awesome. So my friends are leaving. Guessing my name is David. My name is David. An old TV. A box of tissues. A phone. An empty trap. Okay, I'm gonna start reading that. Can I go to sleep? Okay. What's this on my little desk then? Can I read that? Huh? Sheesh. Paul forgot his license. That is a giant ass license. I actually care to him if he's still around. Okay, I should probably leave then. Paul! Paul? Question mark. You hear someone? Oh, I hear someone. What's with that place? Seriously. It's filthy. It's practically falling apart. What were you thinking? He wanted to move for a change of pace. And that will not help him, you hear? Look, what can I do? He's not the richest guy ever, you know. Can't afford much furniture. Besides, you told me to look after the place, right? Don't come complaining to me now. You're right. I'm sorry. I just wanted to help David out. Me? I know. Look, I should be sorry. We'll visit some other time. Talking gets distant. People are going to visit me. The license can wait, I guess. Better go to bed. <laughs> Oh, no, he can go. No reason to go out. There's plenty of reason to go out. Jeez, okay. Don't be an idiot. This is my apartment. I'm guessing this is all my apartment. How many clothes inside? How many clothes inside? Can I sit at the chair? Okay, no. That's fine. What's this here? A washing machine. A wash basin? Don't want to go. Huh. <laughs> there. Shower. Okay, that's that's about it. From what I can tell. Oh. Something's ringing. It's the phone. Hello? Hello? Who is this? Shirley? And there's a fat beep. I'll just call it a day. I should take it easy for my first day in this new place. That's fair. Should go to bed. Good night. Man, I'm tired. Oh. Is that crying? Ugh, really? Is that somebody crying? I can't sleep through this. Is it one of my neighbors? I should go complain. Why would you complain? Just go and help your neighbor out. There's a crack in the wall. There's a large crack in the wall. I, I, okay. Neighbor? Is it you? Okay, gets no response. Knocking gets no response. Knocking gets no response. Oh. 
Yes, who is it at this hour? Pardon me, it's just I can hear you crying from my room. Even. It's making hard to sleep. Would you stop? Wow, that's a bit fucking mean. She's crying, man. Huh? What are you saying? I was sleeping until you woke me up. You trying to start something? You're the guy who moved into 205, right? There's no way you'd hear me from there. Uh, I guess so. So, sorry for waking you. Bye now. What was the point in being to dig? She's right. The rooms are pretty far apart. More importantly, it was a man's voice. Was it just my imagination? Whatever. I better go back to sleep. Okay. Guess we're going back to bed. Wait, what the fuck? Come a shower? Yikes! The water! What the hell was that about? Hmm. Under the bed. Under the... Under the bed? Is Paul trying to prank me? Talk about bad taste. Okay, that's I'm gonna go and check under the bed now. Under the bed, huh? What's down there? Well, I'll have a look. Hmm, found something. Got a scrap from a notebook. Ever since she went away, I spent every night clutching my sweaty pillow and uh, I'm withering. I can't say goodbye. What other choice do I have? What's this? Did the former tent leave this? Maybe so, mate. Oh, whatever. I'll go, I'll go to bed. Okay. Go to bed then. Go to fucking bed. Just sleep. Absolute nonce. More crying. That sounds still? Where is it coming from? Give me a break. I need to sleep. I know, David. I get it. It's, I, I would want to sleep too, but... If someone's crying, you gotta help them out, you know? You can't just... Whoa. Oh, it's morning. It's 9am by the looks of it. Hello? Uh, yeah. Thanks for all the... No. No, I didn't mean just... I'm busy with work, so... Yes, I'll come visit today. I'll t tell her that from me. Okay, bye. What was it, your mum or something? Man, I slept into noon. It's literally 9am. The clock says 9am. I better go. So much taking it easy. Yeah, to be fair. Should I get ready? In the bathroom? Do I have anything on my computer? No computer. Alright, let's just leave. Oh, hi Paul. Paul, what is it? E yeah, uh, I forgot my license yesterday. Was it on the table? Oh yeah, this. Sorry, I was going to bring it to you, but... Woo, thanks! So, you going somewhere? Yeah, to the hospital. I see. Take care of yourself, buddy. No worries, Paul. Oh yeah, Paul. Did you write something on the bathroom mirror? Huh? Right on the mirror? What kind of childish brat do you take me for, David? I said, sorry, I didn't mean it like that. Anyway, I'm off. Alright, jeez. I'm not joking. Okay, I'm in a hospital with a I guess nasty exit. I need to go in here. I need to go in here. Is that my mom or something? Mom, it's been a while. Are you doing okay? Oh my. If it isn't little Timmy, you certainly... Gr my name's David, you fuck! Good. You look healthy. Sorry I can't see you very much. I've been busy with work. Oh, I should probably got dementia. Of course. But I took off a few days... Uh, but I took a few days off, so I moved into this great room with furniture and everything. It's near your favourite cake shop too. So when you get better, we can live there together. Aw, that's nice. My, that's wonderful. Get along with Linda, will you? All that fighting wouldn't be, would be so. I, that worries me so. <laughs> Maybe I can come visit you sometime. You like apple pie, don't you? I'll make the best I know how. Mum, I'm not Timmy. I'm your son David, remember? Oh yes, they opened a bakery the other day. It smells so wonderful. Maybe I should buy from there. She's actually gone. Mum. Aw. No. Oh, who would you be? Why are you here? Oh no, don't do this. How did you get in? This is my room. Do you have the wrong room? No, I'll, I'll, I'll leave, mate. Who, who are you? Say something, will you? M ma Get out! I'll have you thrown out! Somebody! Somebody! There's a strange man in my room! Get rid of him now! Okay, jeez. Mrs. Hoover. Ha, <laughs> she's a Hoover. 
This is Hoover. Don't strain yourself. Please, go to sleep, okay? Who are you? Don't touch me. Get away. Now, calm down, miss. Let's get you into bed. I'm sorry, David. Leave your mother to us. You have to leave for today. That's fair. Understood. Take care of her. That's sad. That's really sad. Davy? Is that my Davy boy? Where are you going? Why are you leaving me? Mom, you're actually gone. M Mom! Your flight school exams are coming up. You want to be a pilot, don't you? Your mother always has your back. Please don't leave me alone. I don't want to be alone here. Davy, please. Mom! It's me, remember? Mom! David, please leave. She's very confused right now. But she said my... I said leave. I mean, I... Oh, God. Mrs. Hoover, please calm down. You're fucking screaming like you've just been killed. Bring the sedatives. Okay, we're gonna leave. We're gonna get the fuck out of here. I don't care who you are, I'm leaving. Oh, I can't. Shit. Hello, David. Did you see your mother? <laughs> that wasn't my mom. Yeah, so I guess she still doesn't know me. Yes, she's forgotten many things. She's having trouble co controlling her emotions. I ask you to be patient. She may well get better, so you can live with her again. Thanks. I hope you can help her. Yeah, me too, man. Me too. I hope you can help her too. Going back to my room, I suppose. Okay, what is that? What was that? Is it a crack in the wall again? Let's go to bed. Box tissues. I'm just going to click on shit. Cupboards. Refrigerator. A stove. A sink. Alright, it's just telling me. It's just a naming object at this point. There's something else in the mirror. Why is there a washing machine next to your fucking toilet? What the hell? No reason to go out. Okay, so I have to stay. What's on the computer? Oh! Oh, the chair moved. Shit. Did I move that chair? Hmm. There's something in the drawer. Got the leaflet for a school. I mean, that's cool. Looks pretty old. Hmm. These LLM courses are circled. Was somebody shooting to be a lawyer? I guess this must be your former tenants. You sure forgot a bunch of stuff. Maybe the furniture is better after all, huh? Okay, so can I leave now? No, too late. okay. Ah, my phone's ringing. Yo, hello. Hey David, how are you doing? No, hey David, how are you doing? Haha, -ha. you saw me just yesterday. I'm doing fine, thanks. Haha, -ha. <laughs> leave me alone, you stalker. Good, good. Call if you're ever lonely, okay? <laughs> I'm not gonna do that voice. That's the last time I did that. By the way, I got a call from Shirley yesterday, but we didn't really talk. Sorry, I told her your number. She said she was so worried about you. It's okay. Tell her I don't need her worry. She's just look after herself. All right. Well, I'll hang up now. All right. See you. Cool. Cool. David. Da -da -da -da. I'm tired of reading. I should go to bed. That's fair. It's still 9 a.m. So you might as well. Oh, my TV can turn on. That's fine, too. But why did it turn on by itself? Is it broken? No, you're haunted, mate. I actually haunted. What did that say? I didn't see that. Gah! What? What? This is creepy. Did it say sink? Oh no. Sink. Sink. No. As in my kitchen sink, not my fucking wash basin. Hmm, there's scrap paper under here. What does it say? There was a crooked man. And he walked a crooked mile, and he found a crooked sixpence against crooked style. He bought a crooked cat, which is called a crooked mouse, and they all lived together in this crooked house. Okay. Isn't this another goose rhyme? Why is this here under the sink? I guess the previous tenant. Just blame everything on the previous tenant. This is so strange. I just even forget about it. Who the hell does- I- when, I'm, when I have these kind of issues, I don't sleep. This guy just knows what to do. I should probably do what he does. Try to sleep. Moving for a change of pace, huh? Guess it's not working so well. I appreciate Paul and Marion's help, but... Marion. Oh, sleep, okay. Okay, that's a female cry this time. That's a kid? What? 
Is that a killer here? What people live in these beautiful apartments? Heck, maybe they're lost. I should go check. See, you're pissed off at the at the man crying, but when there's a kid crying, it's like different. Oh, that wasn't me doing that. Of course, no kids here. Must be getting tired. Oh, is someone breaking my apartment? What broke? Oh shit! Just a broken cup. Jeez, that startled me. Wait, what? Help me. Oh my fucking god, mate. You're actually getting... The coffee says? You... You gotta be. This room. It, it's really, really strange. With its voices and TVs turning on. What is this? What is this? Sorry. My bad. Read that wrong. I didn't sleep, apparently. That's just fair. Uh, hi Paul. It's David. Yeah, what's up? Man, you sound sleepy. Haha. <laughs> Yeah, um, was up all night. I gotta ask something, is now okay? Yeah, what? Do you know if you used to live in this room? Nah, I don't know. You ask, you ask the landlady? You curious about something? Well, seems like you forgot a lot of stuff. Well, I'll ask the landlady, sure, later. Yeah, good idea, keep the hauntings to yourself. The landlady's on the far end of the first floor. I'll go see what she knows. Oh, I can actually go upstairs now? I'm guessing I'm on the top floor. So this one? The far end. Oh, there's a crack in the wall. Hello! Oh, it's Mr. David. What seems to be the matter? Good day, miss. I just want to ask something, you see. About the room I'm in. Can you tell me anything about the person who used to live there? Hmm. Well, you know, these apartments always have people coming and going. Now, what was that boy's name? I believe he was about, it was about a man, it was about a man. I believe he was a man about your age. He suddenly left about a month ago. He said to leave the furniture and use it however. He wouldn't know where he went. I never heard that, no. Really just up and left out of the blue. Ah, I just can't remember that name. I could rummage through my documents to find the previous tenants if you'd like. No, there's no need. I was just a little curious. Thanks, I'll see you around. Alrighty, sorry if it wasn't useful. To be fair though, you could get her to look at the last tenants, but sure. A man about my age, I can only wonder. Oh well, I'll get back to my room. Fair. So we're going back. Whoop. And here. Oh, there's fucking muddy prints that lead from the crack in the wall. Oh, why are these tracks on the floor? They lead to this wall. Is something in this crack? Got a brass key. Oh shit. This key is pretty fancy. I don't have anything in here. So I wonder where. Oh. Damn. This guy's voice. The kid's voice. The mirror writing, TV turning on the coffee. Ha. Huh. It's like a poltergeist or something. I don't know if I thought the landlady would mention this kind of thing. What's going on here? Not that I care if there are ghosts here. I wouldn't much care if they haunted me and killed me either. Okay, David. But I wonder what about... But I wonder about that scrap of paper. What was the man who lived here like? Did this, hap did this stuff happen when he was here? Unless it's him and he died here. Mwahaha! <laughs> Not much who's thinking about it. I call it a day. You sleep so fucking often. Okay. Well, that concludes part one, I'd say. Because um, it's a good 20 minutes. And uh, we've gotten through some good little... I guess you call it the prologue of this game. And uh, yeah, obviously something still the crooked man is haunting me here, but that's fine. So I'll see you guys in the next part. See you later.